This video is brought to you by VolunteerAudio.com, your number one source for all things Harley-Davidson audio, from individual radios, speakers, and amps, to complete plug-and-play amp and speaker systems, we've got you covered. And once you've ordered your package from Volunteer Audio, it includes lifetime tech support, and we have the very best step-by-step -step installation video so you can install it yourself and save money. We're gonna move on now to our back speakers. We're gonna cut in six by nine lid kits into here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the hardware holding this strap to the lid. I'm gonna let it just hang into the bag for now. I don't wanna accidentally get our saw into this cloth as we're cutting. I'm just gonna let it hang into here. Now I'm just gonna close the lid. We're gonna tape off the top where we're gonna be cutting because we don't wanna scratch it in any way. kind of protect any painted surface. I'm probably going to cut, put a couple layers up here. The front edge is the closest place that your saws, uh, like the foot or the bottom of it, would possibly rub on here. So we're going to make sure that we put some extra tape there just in case. We also want to make sure we don't touch it, but in case it does touch, that we have some protection there. It's important that you get your tape pushed in well so you still have that line to follow as you put your cut kit on. We don't want to put this in the wrong place. All right, so now we've got our bag taped off. We're going to take the template that came with our set here and we're gonna push it down. You're gonna see it wraps on three sides. So you can't get it wrong this way, but we definitely wanna make sure that it's all the way back where it's supposed to be, and this front edge lines up with that front edge of the bag. Once we have it where we know it's supposed to go, we're gonna take the two included screws. It's the two that are the shiny ones. We're gonna screw that into the top of the lid. This is gonna make sure that it holds it and it doesn't move while we cut it. All right, next step, we're going to pre-drill a couple holes, and we'll start cutting this out. We use a Milwaukee one-handed, what they call a hacksaw. You can do this with a jigsaw. You can do it with several other tools. But we're just going to have to cut this line right on the outside of the line all the way around. Now be careful, as I was talking earlier, you have this foot on any of these saws, whether it be a jigsaw or so on. And we want to make sure it doesn't rub on this front edge and scratch our paint. So I'm going to cut down to this 90 degree point here. I'm not going to try to make that turn. And then I'm going to rotate all, I'm going to cut all the way back around this radius down to it stops on the other side. I've pre-drilled another hole down here at the bottom that's going to allow me to cut back and then finish all the way around. And we'll get this piece where it's separated and free. You'll see I'm actually holding the saw out some to make sure that there's no way this foot touches this paint. All right, so I've vacuumed up my mess, I've removed our tape, and we have now took our cut kit, the outer portion of the grill, just from underneath, we've just made sure that everything lines up, everything fits, and it does. So the next step is we've got to do some slot modification on these normally to make this part fit underneath. So we're going to open this lid up, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you go to slide this in where it goes, most of the time you'll find out that it hits right on this. So we're going to trim this, this particular ear off the outside and toward this cut kit 
all the way down to the base to create some more room for this to go in and clear and, uh, and match up correctly with our outer grill. So to do that, there are many tools you could do it with. You could grind it off, you could cut it off. I'm just going to use a set of side snips. I'm just going to cut down to the base. See there, we're just removing it all the way off. Now that should not interfere with the underside of our kit fitting. So it just gives us some more clearance to move this where it needs to go. Now, Precision Power does a great job, they're the ones that make these cut kits, of giving us a very nice gasket to seal this up and make it more watertight. They also do a much better job than some of the other companies at putting us a large flange to not only seal well, but it also allows us a little bit more room here if we make a boo-boo while we're cutting. You make it a little bit larger or, you know, or get a little off course, this has got a full half-inch area there to kind of help you do that and not have to worry about messing up. So, grab a couple screws and we'll get this put together. So while holding the inner grill in place underneath, I'm going to slide our outer part up here, drop it where it goes, and I'm going to start lining up some of these screws. Now, we don't ever tighten any of these down until we've got a couple of them started. So we're just going to do a couple turns into the plastic. You may have to grab some of these and kind of tweak them around to get your holes to line up. Look through the hole and see if we can find where it goes. There we go. It looks like we looked up this time. Sometimes they can be a little harder to get lined up. Just look through the hole so you can see where you're going so you can point it in that direction. I'm going to give it a few more turns on each one and we'll flip it over and see how it's lined up on the other side. So I'm going to kind of check it before I go any further. Make sure everything looks like it's pulled in. It looks pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it down some more. Now these are plastic. So we're going to go down until it is tight, but we're not going to continue to go to where we strip it out. All right, so just that easy, we've added a six foot on speaker provision. Let's grab our six foot on, we'll get it mounted in here and get our strap back on. All right, so here we are. We've got our precision power six by nine. Uh, this is the one that's got the really shallow back. It's only two and a quarter inches thick because that magnet got moved out here to the tweeter side. You're gonna see there's already a pre-installed gasket here to, to seal this up and we're just gonna drop it in where it goes. We're gonna put our terminals toward the center of the bag because we're gonna bring our terminal right up here where the cloth goes and across. It's gonna give us a much better look, a much cleaner install. So just like the other, other part, we're gonna start in each screw. Once we get them started, then we'll see about tightening them down. Another awesome thing from Precision Power is their drop-in subwoofer enclosures. And when you're using this speaker and this kit, there's plenty of clearance if you later decided to add a subwoofer as well. All right, all four have started. Now I'm just gonna tighten each one down. Now we have our original strap back installed. Latch our bag. Now we've got our six by nine in. We're gonna replicate and do that same thing on the other side, exact same process. Uh, and then we'll show you here in a few minutes how to hook your wiring up, how to drill that through the bag and get the final part of this done so we can take a listen to it. All right, so we have both of our cutting kits cut in. Our six by nines are mounted. Now onto the wiring. So first I'm gonna take our bag off the bike going to remove the two quarter turns. This bike doesn't have any additional lighting, but if you do know there's lighting on your bike, you may have to unplug connectors behind here before setting it over on your table. 
All right, so now we're going to run our wiring into our bag, but we have to drill a hole here for our grommet to go through. So we're going to pick an area right about in here. So between where your latch goes, between where it mounts to the bike, right in here toward the front on the speaker end, we're going to drill this hole. This is a 16 millimeter, also known as a 5 8 bit. Let me get it checked up straight. Right quick, we're right through. We'll show you how to get the grommet in here in just a second. Right, so now we're going to take our speaker wires. This is on the left side of the bike, which is going to be our green wires. Sometimes, depending on the kit you've bought, some of these will actually say clutch side or brake side or belt side or brake side. So this is going to be a pretty tight fit. So I'm going to get it close and I'm going to take a little screwdriver and I'm going to start pushing in the edge of this rubber. As you get it in here, it's going to get a little easier to go, but it's real tight at the beginning. We want this to be tight though, because we don't want to let water into the bag from this hole we just drilled. Just work your way all the way around, pushing that into the bag. All right, so now, now that you have what appears to be like it's all in, we're going to come to this side and we're going to start pulling that plastic out. We'll just work out any of it that didn't come all the way in. You should be able to do that by hand. Make sure we get a good tight seal on that hole. So there we go. At this point, we're going to put it back on the bike. Um, actually, I'm going to leave it off for a minute because we haven't pulled the wiring on the bike yet. But at this point, you put it back on the bike, then we will attach it to the speaker. All right, to run our speaker wires to the back, you're going to go ahead and remove both of your side covers. The one that goes over the fuse box. These are just simply just, they press into some little rubber grommets. Very easy to take off. So I'm going to take both of them off and just kind of set them to the side. Just to make this slightly easier, I'm going to take these two upper fuse box bolts out. It's a 13 millimeter. Once you do that, you'll see you can just kind of pull this panel forward. It's going to give you a little bit more room. Remember the green wire, and it's going to be marked here, belt side goes on the belt side of it. Pull this right through here. Now remember, there is a belt under here, so we're going to make sure and we're going to zip tie to any existing wiring under here to make sure that it cannot get into that belt. Now we're going to take the other side that's marked break. We'll come here, past our ABS module, back up here the same. On this side, there's not nearly as much. There's not a belt here to get into. There is a brake caliper and a wheel. But we're going to go ahead and secure this with a zip tie around the round part of the frame here. The zip tie may not be long enough. May have to do a second. There. I'll go ahead and put a second one up in here around one of these other harnesses. Right, so while we're here, we're going to go ahead and take our rear connector, I'll plug it into our rear wiring, and you'll see there's this pretty good void right in here behind the battery. What I want to do is I want to come around the battery so that my wiring is going into that area. I'm going to zip tie this up and stick it down in this hole. All right, we'll put our cover back on this side. Go and put our battery cover back on now. So we're going to reinstall the cover over top of the battery. The way that works is this plastic gear at the front that lips over this piece of metal here. Put 
our bolts back in the rear. And put our ECM back in where it goes. All right, so now we're gonna take the wiring that we ran in behind here and we're just gonna simply plug it in. Reconnect our quarter turns to hold our bag in place. We're going to go ahead and mount our second bag and then we'll route our wiring. All right, so we've got our bag back on, all our wiring's done, we're plugged in. Now we've got to take the speaker wires, we're going to connect it to the speaker, and I'm going to show you how to cleanly install that inside your bag. First, we'll start with some alcohol and we're just going to prep the surface in the bag. We're gonna leave where the wire comes through the bag and we're just gonna clean across through here where we might put our little sticky pads or zip tie bases to secure our wiring. So get that clean so it can be dry. We're using isopropyl alcohol so it dries pretty quick. We're gonna include in your kit some of these zip tie bases they are just self stick. So once you see that is dry, we come right around here at the top where that wire comes through and we're gonna stick one here. Going on over here, I'm gonna stick another one about the same place. And where we want that wire to come on up to the speaker, I'm gonna put another one here inside the bag, about right there. All right, so let's go ahead and connect our wiring to our speaker. So the solid color wire is gonna to go to the positive. And the negative one, which is the one with the stripes, is going to go on this larger terminal. Now, a larger terminal sometimes is a little hard to get on. So I'm going to take a small screwdriver and open that terminal up some. <laughs> All right, so let's open this up just to where it's a little bit bigger because they use a very large terminal on the negative side. All right, so now I'm connected there. Now we're going to take this wire while our bag's open. We're going to bring it right down into the bag. Take our zip tie. Pull it down to there and tighten it up. Same thing on this one. Now we'll take this other side. So if you see you've got a little excess, just kind of work that back toward the lid speaker just to give you some more opening room. Simply zip tie that one to its base. And then we'll trim each one with our zip tie cutter. All right, just that easy.